Greetings, everybody, and I want to begin by thanking Heather Reams and the whole team at Crest for the incredible, incredible work that you all do and for organizing this symposium. Um, it's a topic that a lot of people think is boring, a lot of people think it's wonky, permitting reform. It's critical. It's probably, it's certainly one of the top issues that I've focused on um, since becoming a United States Senator, and it's something I focused on in my previous positions in Alaska as Attorney General and the Commissioner of Natural Resources in Energy. But it matters all over the country, every state, every community, and let's face it, every industry. As I mentioned, I've been an avid supporter. Um, Crest has been with me and my team and my office along the way the whole time on the great work that uh, they're doing and helping uh, senators like myself on. Some of you might be familiar with my Rebuild America Now Act. This is a very comprehensive bill. It took us over a year to write with a lot of help from folks like you on comprehensive NEPA reform. NEPA has actually never been even remotely reformed or thoroughly reformed since its passage in the late 1960s. Um, some of you may have followed the Trump administration's outstanding executive order that related to infrastructure permitting. A lot of that was taken from my Rebuild America Now Act. We worked very closely, literally with the president and his whole team on the great permitting reform jobs that they did. Unfortunately, we're running into a brick wall and a reversal with the Biden administration. But just a little bit of history. I talked about NEPA and the need to reform it. You know, a lot of people don't recognize that when the National Environmental Policy Act came out in the late 60s, it was a really good bill, right? It required environmental impact statements, which usually were about 100 pages, if that. They almost always took less than a year, if that. And unfortunately, a good bill intended to bring the public into the process. An American citizen can read a 100-page EIS, right? What's happened, however, is that NEPA has been fully 100% abused, and it's grown into a law that courts and far-left radical environmental groups use to block essentially everything. You know, the average EIS now takes about four to six years um, in America, thousands of pages. They cost millions of dollars. Think about it. Um, the very idea of NEPA to get the average citizen involved has been turned on its head. No average American citizen is going to read a 5,000 page EIS. The only people who do are the far left groups who want to use every single word to go to a judge and try to block a project. It is completely broken. And of course NEPA now has been used to delay and stop pretty much every kind of project all over the country. Unfortunately for my state and the constituents that I'm honored to represent, Alaska is ground zero for this. We recently had, believe it or not, a road that got, went through its final EIS during the Trump administration, Secretary Lane Chow, on the Kenai Peninsula in Alaska. The EIS took over 30 years, 30 years for a road. We had a mine, the Kensington mine, that actually is now producing gold in southeast Alaska. It's got almost 400 employees, average wage $110,000, really good wages, 20 years to permit that mine, if you can believe it. And we had to throw a Hail Mary pass to the U.S. Supreme Court to reverse a misguided NEPA-related decision by the Ninth Circuit to get that mine going. So the point is that this is an issue, permitting reform, the abuse of NEPA, that literally hurts every single American. Whether you want to build a wind turbine, or a solar panel, or a hydro project, or a airport runway, or a gold mine, or an oil and gas um, development, it blocks everything. All of the above energy is all blocked by NEPA. So, 
We as a country, I believe, are starting to finally wake up to this issue that's bedeviled my state for decades, and we're starting to take action. Some of you may have seen, Crest was very helpful on it. I had a Congressional Review Act resolution that passed in a bipartisan manner a couple months ago, rescinding the latest Biden administration NEPA rule out of the Biden White House. It would have crushed the ability to, produce, to build infrastructure, all infrastructure. Yes, that passed. Usually, that gets a round of applause. Okay, that passed, rescinding a Biden administration NEPA reg. We're trying to move that in the House. President said he's going to veto it if it comes to us. That's great. Let's see who he stands with, the men and women who build stuff in America or the radical environmental far left that wants to shut it down. I think most Americans stand with the workers who build things. So that's the side that we're on. We want our country to be strong. And this is one way to do it without cutting corners, right? We all want a beautiful, pristine environment. We have that in Alaska, but you can do both. You can build roads, bridges, energy developments, and also protect your environment. That's what we do in Alaska every day. That's what we do with common sense permitting reform. We have to get there. A lot of discussions in the Senate right now as we speak about this. And I'm going to keep working it as long as I'm a U.S. Senator with your help. So thanks for the great, great job you've done in this critically important area for our nation, certainly for my state. We want to continue our work with Crest and all the great work they do. Thanks a lot.